holding down the fort. Defend the homestead. Yo, uh, Falcon Ditto? All right. Breaking out that top shelf for this one. Wow, this, that is, that is, oh, and the immediate controller disconnect, Very baby. Cool. That's that good stuff. Okay, will they be starting off? Okay, they pop out a couple of taunts. Yep. They will just be getting into it. Bongos uh, trying to go in back in with a side. He misses that one. Huge commitment. Down to go dash attack. Classic against fast fallings. This is going to, I feel like this is such <gasps> an interesting mirror match because things could just go awry in an instant. And who would want a double jump failure? Nobody gets me knowing that just runs out, able to get that early spike early down, and all of a sudden Bongo's waiting out that directional air dodge. They're in each other's heads and going out there for your spike. This is peak Falcon Ditto, baby. Absolutely. This okay. is what I came here to see. This is what I signed up for. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm still at the ledge three times in a row, King. You got it. <laughs> it's going to hit eventually. They're now going to be looking for the down air, maybe to stuff out like any dash and any side B attempt. How about and another down air? Again! Yeah, that's the menace that is Captain Falcon offstage. You just sometimes have a very linear, predictable recovery route. And Gatsby could be going for it again, teching Bongo's uh, own Raptor boost. Where are we going? Wait for the air dodge! And forward air! Knee comes out. Phenomenal three stock. One minute and five seconds. That oh, whole game was a minute and five seconds. You gotta come to a set like this with a stopwatch. That's just how it goes. Yeah. What happened here? Just down throw? Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is still the first stop. Gotcha. They both went for forward tilt there. Yeah. Same brain cell. <laughs> this, this entire game was just going by so, so fast. Gatsby seems so, so comfortable in this ditto as well. Also, from 39%, just getting those falling up airs, able to connect that last falling up air. That's that sweet spot, baby. That's that amazing timing. All right, Bongos is actually the bravest of us all, actively picking into the cow. It's a phenomenal stage for Falcon, but that's also against another Falcon. Yeah. Okay, Gatsby now going to be stuck at the ledge, drop down, double jump, neutrally, gets the back here extension, tries to go through like that jab is like that early coverage, but then just a little bit too slow to cover that tech roll in. He's going out there. I respect You can him. afford to on this stage. You have the luxury of a phenomenal wall jump and a very tall wall. Oh my gosh, and the downer into the knee as well. The spacing on that so tight. Gatsby had to drift on inwards. That was immaculate timing. And now all of a sudden, this is yet another big lead. But Bongo's going to be finding out with punish. Good stuff. He really just went out there to do it to him, huh? Oh no. Oh no. A little bit too low. Couldn't make it back on with the after boost, and all of a sudden, this is another three to one stocks. The back here into the F tilt tries to go out there through the knee. Gatsby, <laughs> relax. Nah, he wants this one done with. He's trying to fly through this bracket. All that Gatsby is doing is waiting. He is waiting. He's just waiting for the dash attack. He's waiting for the bad option. Bongos is just running into them sometimes, whips that dash grab, and Gatsby is just playing second beat. Ooh. That reverse up there, though? <laughs> Jab one back. It was okay. Okay, Gatsby. Oh, geez. Going out there, getting another up here, and... He's crazy for it. Honestly, I would have popped if he got it. That would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. That would have been so sick. But alas, going out there again for yet another spike. Over commits, but Bongo's just not in a position to ledge trap. Oh, what a fiend. What a fiend, indeed. Just lands that back down with a knee. Just going to be catching. I think there's like either a drop shield or like a jump out of shield. That was one of the fastest sets I have seen in a minute. Gatsby had places to be. He had clips to make. Maybe some of them unsuccessful, but, uh, you know, he had a plan. He had intention. Oh, Bongos was just too slow on the Raptor boost after the attack. You know, I, I hope we get to see more just high-octane play like this. Where players How just close get to was that to hitting? Uh, on the real, I don't think it was that close. Yeah. No, uh, no, 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 no. One more time, Frank. That was, that was, that was... Come on. All right. Look at it. Up Look at air. it again. Ready? So you're falling. Instantly buffered it. He's, he's, no, he's not there for it. I think it's pretty close. I think that's almost there. The timing wasn't there. Yeah. The idea, beautiful. It would have been so cool. I mean, it's fake. Yeah. Oh, But yeah. it's just but like. Here's the thing. You don't want to air dodge there. You don't want to waste I any resources like at that Falcon across every iteration of Smash throughout all of history has always been a character where the law of the land is it's real if I hit it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's just like the pressure that he carries fundamentally as a character. He covers a lot of space sometimes. Uh, he's able to get devastating punishes. He's just able to throw out something like a jab and immediately back off and say, oh, all of a sudden I'm in a completely different space covering this next tree of options as well. So he relies a lot on just like, you know, 
fake combos, fake options, but it's all about Lee positioning himself so that he can get something huge. So uh, Gatsby dominated that set. He played beautifully. He the, played to his highest content. The danger of Falcon.